How's it going? It's been a couple days since we did our last video. A lot's happened. But it is a brisk uh, spring day, bright sunshine, and uh, we've got a lot of work that happened in the greenhouse. We had some people come and help us out, um, and we are up and ready to go. Our plants arrived today, um, but let's do a tour of the greenhouse, and we'll bring you up to speed, and then we'll get planting our, our plants that we're going to sell this spring. It's really nice and warm in here. And uh, as you can see, we've got our potting bench all built and we've got our soil. Um, this system will hold a half a bale of the potting mix. Um, so we're good to go there. We've got our baffle here and our furnace is installed. That was a project all by itself, but we had help. We got it done. So now we have heat. Um, the benches were in, we were working on them the last time we touched base with, with everybody, and they're finished. So we have the wooden base with the hardware cloth on top so water can go through. And then this section here will actually fold down. So once we're done with our spring planting and our flowers and our vegetable starts, we can open this up and we'll be having our hydroponic tomatoes and our hydroponic uh, vegetables. Um, T-Rex has already started some hydroponic projects. Um, you'll see updates on those, uh, but not in this video. This video we're gonna start planting. Uh, we are planning to do hanging pots, 25 of them with petunias, red, white, and blue, uh, because that's our favorite and in our neighborhood that's what a lot of people like is the red, white, and blue uh, theme. And then we have some fusible petunias, which are a red, pink, and white, and they're an easier one. It's a one plug and all the plants are in it. And we have vegetable starts over here, um, and we'll go over all of that. But we're going to get the plants started and get some planting done. Don't forget, subscribe to us. we got a lot of projects we haven't put videos up yet, so you want you don't want to miss a single one. And always check below our videos. We'll have links to products that we mention um, to help you if, if you're interested in something that we're building. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to plant up our hanging baskets. Um, and this is what we decided to do this year. It's going to be a red, white, and blue. Um, I think they're going to be very pretty. Uh, and this is the basic process. So we're gonna, we've got our pot filled with soil. And bear with me because this is the first time we've done this for a while. We'll start. We have to do six holes one two three four five six um, so we take uh, this is not squeeze the bottom carefully pull out the plant so there's blue and a blue and a red I don't want to come out very easily <laughs> and a white and a white I'm not sure if I'm putting these far enough in or if they're good yeah, it's good. it's not a perfect science and we just light extra hand in there. 
just lightly pack, pat them down and I'm going to transfer this down to the people that are putting hangers on them. <laughs> and we'll keep going until we have 25 of these done. Yep. So, these flowers, we have to pull off. It's called deadheading, so that it puts all of its effort into the roots. Okay, so we got all of our hanging plants done. Um, I don't know that you can see them, but uh, we'll take a video at the end and show you all of the work. The next one that we're planting is called Ooh La La. It's uh, patented, but it's going to be a pink, a white, and a pink and white. Pink and white? Red and white. So it's going to be basically a red and white with some pink. Um, and this one is unique and um, caught my eye because each plug, one plug, is all of that together. Um, so planting, very simple, put it in and that's supposed to fill the entire pot, which I'm really excited to see how that works. So in a few seconds here we'll have all of these potted up. All right, so there's our hanging pots. And I'm gonna come over here 
and you can see all of our those are the smaller pots and we did a couple with three of the fusibles as hanging pots and then we have this whole side yeah try not to make you dizzy and then these are all of our we've started peppers and uh, T-Rex has some hydroponic project started so all right well that was a fun day I, I really like gardening and this is a dream come true for me so we will see you again the next time we're in the greenhouse oh hey glad you could join us we're just cleaning up from uh, putting some seeds together uh, let me just put our seed packets um, I'm having T-Rex custom build me a little um, container to hold these because this isn't very efficient. Um, so that's that's where these are headed to get a nice little box so we can tell what's what. I'll be right back. All right. So one of the other projects that we're doing today, um, we've mentioned it on a couple videos, is hydroponics. Our goal is to grow hydroponic tomatoes in the greenhouse for sale by the roadside. Um, one of the things that is very popular in our area is to have a little roadside stand. And we've tried to do this multiple years in the regular garden, but I can't get enough quantity growing to be able to have consistent tomatoes out by the road and have some that we can use as well. So by using a hydroponic system, number one, we're going to be in growing season a lot sooner and because they grow more consistently I think we're going to have a better flow of tomatoes that are marketable so our goal is to do between 10 and 16 buckets uh, we currently have 10 of these that we purchased commercially um, they're just a black bucket that has I don't know if you can see that turn it there there's a little spigot in the bottom that is so that the recirculating system can return the water. Um, we've, we've been wanting to do this for many years. And then we have some white buckets that we used for maple syrup sap collection that we're not using because we use the bags now. And we're going to outfit some of those in a similar fashion instead of buying new ones because we really do want to use what we already have on hand. So this is what we've got going at this point. Uh, we did purchase some of the net cups so that we have them for our system. There you go. The link's down below. We just bought these off of Amazon. Um, and these are what we use in our mason jar hydroponics. These are, let me check the stick. This is kale on, on this six pack, okay? On that side and then this is another this is red Russian kale this is Lacino Lacino I don't know how it's pronounced kale on this side and then we were watching some YouTube videos and it was suggested to start seeds this way instead of starting them in the rock wool so we have a Ziploc bag with a paper towel in it and there's like three or four tomato seeds in each one so these are all our tomatoes that if everything sprouts and they should they're fresh seeds um, these will become our hydroponic tomatoes um, we're very excited to watch that process so once these sprout and we we get them situated we're actually going to start them we were going to wait we were going to wait till after all the flowers were potted and further along but after everything was assembled we're going to have plenty of room to have these coexist um, so we're really excited about that and as we go along we'll give you updates don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check the links below catch you again